It's half past eight in the morning and commuters in this small village near to the Slovene capital Ljubljana are being asked to make an unscheduled eco stop on the way to work. Pupils from the local primary school are explaining to drivers that they should try to car share in order to save energy. The children are taking part in a project called FIDU, which promotes fun but informative teaching about energy efficiency in schools across Europe. The scheme is funded by the European Union's Intelligent Energy Europe programme. Intelligent use of energy helps to ensure the EU is less dependent on foreign oil and gas supplies. And it's also a key aim in Europe's fight against global warming. FIDU brings together experts on energy efficiency and the children's regular teachers to explain issues like climate change and carbon dioxide emissions. Here, pupils are visiting a local technical museum. The trip helps them learn about some of the latest renewable energy sources like these solar panels. But it also shows that sustainable energy is not a new idea. These water wheels are well over a hundred years old. Meadowside School in Gloucester in the United Kingdom also took part in FIDU. The school was built using a wide variety of energy and water saving techniques, as members of Meadowside's Environment Committee are only too keen to point out. This is our big meter board and we, in every environment committee, we come down here and we take the readings of how much rainwater means, water, electricity and gas we use and we compare them to the other readings we've taken and we try to improve how much we use. And energy education certainly doesn't stop at the school gates. We've got this energy saving light bulb up here. It does exactly what it says, it saves energy. Instead of using 60 watts, it uses about 11 watts. So it saves electricity, so people don't have to pump so much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. In Brussels, meanwhile, energy monitors at this school regularly check with their caretaker how much electricity and gas their school buildings consume. EU schemes like FIDU have allowed schools and energy efficiency organisations from all over the European Union to share experiences and learn from each other. And they haven't only taught children. Teachers have also benefited. Here in Brussels, for example, teacher Anita van Stichel regularly works alongside energy coach Paul Renders. De eerste vergadering, dus de eerste keer dat we opgeroepen werden als school, waarvoor we ons dus eigenlijk wel vrijwillig ingeschreven hadden, we dachten van oei oei, wat gaat dat hier zijn en gaan we dat wel kunnen? Dus een angst die over u hangt, omdat het thema toch niet echt vrouwelijk is, ons echt lag. Kwamen we daar binnen in het lokaal, zat daar vol onderwijzers, een prachtig team. Die mensen die stellen u direct op uw gemak. If we can teach the next generation the importance of saving energy, often by doing very simple things like putting a lid on a boiling pan of water, turning off the standby light on the television set, changing old-fashioned light bulbs for energy saving models or just turning off the lights when you leave a room, we may just succeed in shutting the door on climate change. <laughs>